Uh, I'm Iwan Baan, photographer, and uh, always been an observer. <laughs> in a way, I think I'm still in the process of beginning, but um, maybe to go back to the real beginning, uh, uh, I guess it was in kindergarten when the teacher asked me, come and play with the other kids, and I was said, oh no, I stay here, I, I, I stay looking, and sort of looking has been always my thing, <laughs> uh, uh, being an observer. And, uh, watching and recording sort of what's happening around me. Um, then, like as a kid, I was always drawing and painting and so, and after uh, a while I got the first camera and I say, well, photographers are uh, lazy painters, so sort of my... <laughs> uh, the, the next step was the camera for me. And that's uh, what I've been doing always uh, since I was 12 years old or so. Um, and yes, uh, sort of the, my whole jump into the architecture field that came kind of totally unexpected. And I, uh, I studied photography then and uh, went to art school and after a couple of years by accident met Rem Koolhaas and that sort of drew me into this uh, whole architecture field. And in that sense, like I'm still a total beginner, like I don't know anything about architecture, <laughs> uh, but like we're all kind of surrounded by uh, spaces by buildings by the built environment and it's been a complete uh, obsession and fascination for me over the last uh, nine years and um, now like that's uh, exactly what I'm doing like and sort of being an observer and looking at spaces and looking at uh, public space and what people do there and the craziest things happen there sort of all the time and you just have to watch and see what's happening in front of you and um, yeah, for me it's important to tell a story on all these places, what people do there, how things develop, and especially with new architecture it's always great that people react very different to a new space and to things around us, like in this space where you stand and you see all these objects which could be houses, which could be spaces, which could be just an object where you sit on, like I'm sure that uh, things will happen and people will, yeah, uh, discover this space in a new way, these kind of things, they fascinate me. And uh, like the last years my uh, focus has been of course very much, or like how people know my work often, is through uh, all the uh, architecture work and a lot of the commissioned work and um, these kind of things. But uh, what's been always a big fascination for me is also like how people sort of totally outside that architecture field create also unique spaces for themselves. And I see here already in your spaces you create, like they could be adapted in like completely different ways by people how, um, who live in it. And, like, and you look like at the informal communities, at vernacular, at all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. And you see in all these places like um, exactly the same th uh, way of thinking and uh, yeah, using space and doing things there as you see in the architecture world. And that's, always been a big push for me to uh, look at sort of that other end of the built environment, uh, uh, other end of the spectrum very much.